Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a great week so far. Got nine matchups on this NBA slate for today. Some pretty good action here. Before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe, support the channel, and uh, go ahead and join me over on the Patreon. Get access to the private Discord server. Love to have you guys in there. Got a great community full of sports betters. And um, yeah, I'd love to have you guys be a part of that team. And um, last few days to sign up for the Robin Hood $1 million crypto bonus. Link is in the description. Go hop on that as well. We're going to get started with these nine matchups. First matchup, the Boston Celtics versus the Orlando Magic. Boston 34 and 31. 31 and 34 against the spread. The Magic 21 and 20, 21 and 44. 31, 32 and 2 against the spread. Boston opening up as five and a half point favorites with the over under at 217 and a half. Last 10 games for Boston, 5 and 5 in their last 10. Orlando, 3 and 7 in their last 10. You know, Boston just 1 and 5 against the spread in their last 6. So they haven't been able to cover, but um, you know, 5 and 0 oh in their last 5 against Orlando. 4 and 1 against the spread on the on the road against Orlando here. I think they should have no problem covering the spread against this, you know, pretty bad Orlando Magic team. I'll take the Celtics minus 5 and a half here and um take the under 217 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Portland Trailblazers versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Portland 36 and 29, 33 and 32 against the spread. The Cavs 21 and 43, 24 and 40 against the spread. Portland opening up as 10 and a half point favorites with the over under at 223 and a half. Last 10 games for Portland, 4 and 6 in their last 10. Cleveland 1 and 9 in their last 10. I mean, you know, the head-to-head, Portland 6-4 and four in their last 10 head-to-head against Cleveland here. Um, man, you know, it's hard to trust this. This isn't a game I love because Portland, they should be able to win this game easily. But um, 10.5 points is a lot. You know, it's, Cleveland could e- easily cover in this matchup. I'm going to take Cleveland plus 10.5. I just think that's too much for this Portland team. Take Cleveland. We'll go with the over 223 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Memphis 32 and 32, 38, 25 and one against the spread. The Timberwolves 20 and 45, 30 and 30, 33 and two against the spread. Uh, Memphis opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 236 and a half. Last 10 games for Memphis, four and six in their last 10. Minnesota, 6-4 and four in their last 10. Um, you know, Memphis just 1-4 and four in their last 5. 1-4 and four against the spread in their last 5 as well. But they're 5-0 and oh straight up and against the spread against Minnesota here. So they've had really good success against Minnesota. Um, Minnesota's been playing pretty well, though. Four, winning 4 out of their last 5. Um, you know, they're 1-6 and six against the spread at home against Memphis here. But, uh... Memphis, or Minnesota's been playing pretty well, and um, three and a half points. I'm willing to roll the dice on Minnesota plus three and a half. I think they can definitely cover. Take Minnesota. We're going to go with the over 236 and a half. Next matchup, we had the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Houston Rockets. 76ers 44 and 21, 34, 27 and four against the spread. The Rockets 16 and 49, 22 and 43 against the spread. Philly opening up as 11 and a half point favorites with the over under at 225 and a half. Last 10 games for Philly, 6 and 4 in their last 10. Houston, 2 and 8 in their last 10. You know, Philly on a five game winning streak, 4 and 1 against the spread in those five games, playing pretty well here. Um, hard to trust Houston here. Houston, 1 and 7 in their last 8, 1 and 7 at home. You know, Philly should be able to beat this Houston team up. Give me Philly minus 11 and a half, and we're going to go with the over 225 and a half. Next matchup, we have the Phoenix Suns versus the Atlanta Hawks. The Suns 46 and 18, 39, 24 and 1 against the spread. The Hawks 36 and 30, 36, 29 and 1 against the spread. Phoenix opening up as two and a half point favorites with the over under at 227 and a half. Last 10 games for Phoenix, 7 and 3 in their last 10. Atlanta, 6 and 4 in their last 10. 
you know, head to head, Atlanta six and four in their last ten meetings, head to head here. Um, but with a small spread, you know, I'm gonna take you know one of the best teams in the league with the Suns. Should be able to cover this two and a half point spread. Take the Suns. Gonna go with the over two twenty seven and a half. Next matchup, we have the Sacramento Kings versus the Indiana Pacers. The Kings twenty seven and thirty seven. 29 34 and 1 against the spread. The Pacers 30 and 34. 26 and 38 against the spread. Pacers opening up as a four and a half point favorites with the over under at 238 and a half. Last 10 games for Sacramento. 5 and 5 in their last 10. The Pacers 4 and 6 in their last 10. You know, Indiana has won the head to head battle 6 and 4 in their last 10. Um,. You know, Indiana battling a bunch of injuries. Brogdon is questionable for Wednesday. Um, be sure to check those statuses. But um, don't know if I trust Indiana plus four and a half, or you know, with the four and a half. I think that's too much. Not very excited about this game to be honest. But um, I would take the four and a half points with Sacramento. We're gonna go with the over two thirty eight and a half. Next matchup we have the Washington Wizards versus the Milwaukee Bucks. The Wizards. 30 and 35, 37 and 28 against the spread. The Bucks 40 and 24, 30 and 34 against the spread. Bucks opening up as eight and a half point favorites with the over under at 239 and a half. Last 10 games for the Wizards, eight and two in their last 10. The Bucks six and four in their last 10. You know, head to head Milwaukee eight and two in their last 10. Head to head with the Wizards. Um, you know. Wizards playing really great basketball. They've really turned it around this second half of the season. I think eight and a half points is too much for this. Pretty pl- playing really good, just as good as anyone in the league right now in the Wizards. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take the eight and a half points with the Wizards. They're gonna go with the over two thirty nine and a half. Next matchup, we have the New York Knicks versus the Denver Nuggets. The Knicks thirty seven and twenty eight, forty two twenty two and one against the spread. The Nuggets forty three and twenty two. 31 and 34 against the spread. Denver opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 214 and a half. Last 10 games for the Knicks, nine and one in their last 10. Denver, eight and two in their last 10. Knicks, 15 and one against the spread in their last 16, 12 and one in their last 13. Although they are just 0 and 6 in their last seven, 0 and 6 in their last six meetings with Denver. Uh, Denver, 6 and 0 at home. 12-0 12 and 0 at home against the Knicks here. Um, this is going to be a tough battle. We know Knicks have been playing really well. Um, Nuggets are a great team, you know, one of the best teams as well. I think it's going to be a close defensive battle with one of the best defensive teams in the league with the Knicks. I'll take the points with the Knicks plus three and a half. Should be a fun, close game. We're going to go with the over 214 and a half as well. Last matchup on the board, we have the San Antonio Spurs versus the Utah Jazz. The Spurs 31 and 33, 35, 28 and one against the spread. The Jazz 47 and 18, 37, 27 and one against the spread. Jazz opening up as seven and a half point favorites with the over under at 222 and a half. Last 10 games for the Spurs, five and five in their last 10. The Jazz six and four in their last 10. These teams did just play each other with, uh, you know, the Jazz picking up a 110 to 99 win over the Spurs. Spurs just one and four in their last five, one and four against the spread against Utah in their last five. You know, I'm expecting kind of the same result here. I'll take the Jazz minus seven and a half and a team they just beat pretty easily, and um, go with the under 222 and a half. And that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday, and I will see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.